What's up everyone, Pain It's Killer here, and we are back in Assassin's Creed Unity. Today we are continuing on with our main story mission, and we are here in the Assassin's Hub. Today we begin Sequence 5, aka the Council Report. You look terrible. For months, I have been wrangling the Brotherhood, the National Assembly, and the King. Taken all together, they have the political acumen of an especially stupid village council. I believe that excuses my appearance, young man. I meant no disrespect, Mentor. I am only concerned. Forget me, Arno. Weep for France. But enough politics. I hope you have happier news. What of Lord de Lassire's murderers? The King of Beggars is dead. He was carrying this. Oppose on pay. You should keep it. It'll do no one any good moldering in a forgotten crypt. Carry it with honor. Thank you. I will. The mission. The King of Beggars and Sivert were only pawns in a larger game. Someone sent them after Monsieur de la Serre. Templars do nothing simply, do they? Do you have anything solid on this mysterious chess player? The only lead I have is the instrument that killed de la Serre. A pin fashioned by a silversmith named Germain. But how he's involved, I can't yet say. It seems your course is clear. Find the silversmith, learn what part he plays. You know, thinking about it, it is kind of funny how the other assassins don't actually wear hoods. Um, I suppose these guys that I'm working for, they, uh, you know, they have a part Hello. to play. They have a, you know, a face to wear in the public eye. They should look they shouldn't really look like an assassin, so... Well, that's not suspicious, is it? Okay, so I have to un... Oh, great. I have to unlock five doors and berserk two brutes. 
And standing at the doorway right in front of us, we actually have a bazook. A bazook of a brute right there. But he's uh, a little bit too far for me to uh, set him off just yet. Jump in this bay of hay here. Jump out. Kill this guy. Keep him nice and quiet. And let me look. So now we've set one of the berserk, one of the brutes berserk, which means that he will be striking down his uh, allies. something that I'm going to get into. I'm going to start the mission off by just immediately getting into a big fight, killing everyone. And there's my second group made berserk. I mean, I would like to play these games the way that they're, quote, meant to be played. And in my opinion, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be stealth. Right? Like, that makes sense, doesn't it? But um, I seem to find myself constantly running into these situations where I'm instantly found out and surrounded and made to pay for my actions. Um, thankfully... Now I suppose that gun that I was just given was uh, meant to be the first gun that you're given in the story. But I actually unlocked a gun. Uh, I think it's one of the first things I did. So, at the moment we are on the hunt for locked doors. And here is one. So, this is the lock picking tutorial, pretty much. If you haven't seen this done before, fairly simple. Just gonna get that timing down. Um, at the moment, as I said in the last video, I'm so early in the game. You're actually mighty for me this video. Uh, we'll see when it comes to editing, huh? Um, I'm so early in the game that I have yet to actually unlock any more uh, major skills. One of those major skills, I have to excuse me, I'm still fairly ill, for fuck's sake, um, is lockpicking. <laughs> so. You know, you unlock, uh, you get the second level of lockpick in the third level as well. And those are the unlocks later on in the game. That's what I call stealth. There we go. So now we have two out of four doors lockpicked. Uh, I believe that one there is one I just opened. We have one on the floor below us, and one on the left, one on the right. I've been here three weeks, and I've never even seen him leave that room. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Dedicated to his work, more like. I don't think he really even knows we're here. Okay, so I'm... There's like a, a split second. There you go. I mean, when I send that brainwave to press that button, it's almost as though I have to do it late. You know, it's like it's it's like the time between pressing the button and they hit in the bar. It's just, it's so strange. Like that, that was when I pressed the button, it was early. And I'll try and make it some kind of noise to tell you there. That was too early. So now I've got one more lock pick, folks. This is it, this is life or death right here. Oh god. What am I gonna do? Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Unfortunately for me, those two doors that I just lock picked led me nowhere. <laughs> Monsieur Germain, the silversmith. Thank God. 
They've been holding me for months. Please, get me out of here. First, I need to know about this. You've no time. I'll tell you all I know once we're away. But we must leave before the guards return. Fine, let's go. No! They'll be watching the front entrance. We'll have to go downstairs and across. Follow me then, and stay quiet. Come on, this guy's so shifty. He's got a ponytail. You can't, you can't trust him. Oh god, oh I went the wrong way. Have I got any phantom blades left? So blade phantom. Let's see what we've got here. One down. Follow me. Stab him in his ankle, that apparently kills him. Okay, so let's try and set this guy up berserk, and uh, hopefully we can uh, use him to our advantage. And now that he has gone crazy, he will create the perfect distraction for us to get out of here. Or at least one of them. Yeah, they're going to fight to the death, is what I'm trying to say. And they're going to kill each other. One of them will definitely die. Oh, come on. I'm showing me up now. People were watching. Girls can see. Look, I can't progress until you... Oh shit. This way. I've never done that before. That was awesome. <laughs> that 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 was awesome. <laughs> I've never done that before. I wish I knew about the ability to do that uh, a while ago. Wait here. Follow me. As you say. Dude, you are so shifty. Keep one eye to the roofs. They often post sentries there as well. Just how important are you as a prisoner? I mean, are you just stupid, Arno? I mean, come on. He clearly isn't a prisoner. They're not his guards. They're... Well, they are his guards, but they're more his bodyguards than his, his prisoners. Or his uh, prison... Prison guards, you know what I mean? That's how I feel anyway. This guy's fucking shift. And again, he is helping me kill his guys. Hmm. Change of plans. Need to do anything foolish? Let the silversmith go. Stay back. I'll be good. What have I done? Only what you had to. Come, we must go. Yes, of course. Ha! 
Thank you, my friend. You've done me a great service today. Perhaps you can return the favor. Yes, of course. May I? I made the first some years ago on a private contract for a man called Lafreniere. That seemed an unusual commission. I confess, curiosity got the better of me. Recently, I started to look into Lafreniere's background, and what I discovered, you wouldn't believe it. He's a Templar. Is that what you found? Yes. I believe so. I didn't know how to take it. In any case, I was careless, and Lafreniere found out about my schemes. Kept me in the house arrest ever since. I do as he bids. Weapons, mostly. Where can I find him? Well, Lafreniere is a very difficult man to pin down. Not long ago, I overheard him talking about protecting the shipments at La Alouble. Sounded ominous, whatever he meant. I may ask, why are you so interested in him? He killed someone very dear to me. I want to know why. I see. You have my sympathies. They will come looking for you again. Make yourself scarce. Yes, I believe I might. It's nice to finish a memory and know that I don't have to replay it because we totally nail all of our objectives. Now, I just killed a criminal on the street and the police. Alright, let's get on with this next mission. Sequence 5, memory 2. Alright, Lafreniere. Where are you hiding? See, these guys just are not nice to me. And I wonder why they kill them all so quickly. Now, the hidden objective in this mission is to get three pistol kills. Which kind of means putting myself in harm's way. Which, uh, in case you didn't know, I try my hardest not to do. Sometimes, you know, it's just not, it's just not possible to not get caught. Like then, apparently, um, I had to get caught. So I suppose this is one of those missions where there's several ways, several ways into it, several ways around. And uh, normally, I um, come into this kind of area, I give a scan with my uh, equal vision and I find exactly what I'm looking for. Oh. 
Okay, apparently I just pissed off everybody on the lower floor. <laughs> See if I can get up to the next floor without getting shot. Yes. And there's my free pistol kills. What that basically accomplishes is that I don't have to ever play this mission again if I get all of the objectives. Whatever down. he's planning, it's big. And now I know where to find you, Grandmaster. It hardly seems safe just to leave these lying around. yourself in a fiery chasm. Well, slow motion matrix now bullet dodging is definitely Maybe moved I the Assassin's Creed series. in plain sight. Right. Nice. Pass over slash under objects. God damn it. I did pass over slash under objects. Pass over and under everything. How must you punish me, Unity? Every time. Ugh. Oh. 